it's like a bit of engineering if you imagine we give give the the sim back to mark and gary but they can uh, do some more of their tweaking do some more of their stuff i would not dream of shanghai whatsoever i'd have nightmares of that place uh, and basically we'll see what little things appear for when we come in for the next flight there's always something appears or gets done uh, there's a new piece of a new switch has been wired up uh, uh, this one here all the radios work completely the throttles were put in this time yeah mine my mind is telling me no but my body is telling me yeah it does just buffering it that will definitely yeah that will go away again that will c come back again oh, we have some meters Two, so we went four, seven, Charlie. Thanks. Uh, Rio Pocho, the not real flight to the simulator. Nathan, boring scenery. Uh, there's clouds. <laughs> Not quite all there at the moment. It is near. Where's the diversion airport this year? Oh, I don't know. Do we, we, tell, we don't usually tell you. It's all secret. That's what's out there at the moment. So Is that the only iPad we've got? <laughs> nice blue sky outside, nice weather. It's rock is actually when you fly over it, you do actually see it because it's been on it is actually on a scenery, isn't it? With sort of like a ready colour.
all falling into place, Dave. Yeah, that's, um, that was a that was a bit naughty of Rex to do that as well. They made basically to get into P3D, you had to pay an extra five dollars. It was a bit annoying, that was. It's worth it, though. So, companies, I don't actually mind spending my money on them. Very good job, though. I yeah. must say. The problem is he will hold that over us for for years now. So you remember when you stayed in bed and I did everything? Well, he can stay in bed next year. <laughs> so have you actually slept at the hotel yet, Dave? Uh, not overnight. <laughs> no, I have not spent a night in a hotel. Oh my god. And uh, I'd be right. Uh, good morning. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't actually spent a, ho a night in the hotel. Every I've been here every single night. Oh well. <laughs> uh, Robin, uh, I do have kids, but my my kids are grown up. Uh, it's just my wife at home. That's it. job I do actually I'm taking this week off to do this so it's not nothing to do apart from any of my holidays. I'm just taking a week off. <laughs> Benny's a nice man. Just don't cross him. Because the engineer station was there, so that that seat used to swivel as well. Because it's the same seat that's in the classic. It's painted brown. <laughs> it doesn't swivel. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, it's quite a testament to everything, this software itself. If if anybody's ever thinking about this sort of software, uh, yeah, don't go mad and buy yourself a copy, but the software itself you can fly, but it works really, really well together. Uh, who's that? Um, Matt is that? No, this one. This is his leg. Ish. Ish. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we were in. Uh, we were tucked up in one A, one B. Nice and sleep. That's a good job when Benny stole it and got in the air that we were actually still on board. So. Hey Lingus, welcome back. Gary will be getting up as well at some stage. Yeah. For the f final flight. <laughs> it's a bit emotional. And smelly. <laughs> I think actually having that fan there, the air circulation doesn't smell very much. Does it? Yeah. We will let you out when we get when we land, so you can uh, stay on board for the next uh, 360 days, or you can uh, basically go away and enjoy yourself and then come back. It's hard to think actually, because yeah, uh, we didn't actually land in Sydney till about 11 o'clockish, so that's quite a bit of long time here. So bit of a lay of it. Yeah. We'll have to put over the bus lot for a while, but not there. happy with that, then you can stay in first class. However, I'm not coming round to give you drinks. I'm not cooking for you. I only cook for the crew. Uh, Jeref, well, welcome to the stream. You, uh, I'm hoping, have you seen... Brisbane, good day. Speedbird 47, Charlie, flight level 380. Speedbird 47, Charlie, Brisbane, send out the back of it. Go ahead. Uh, to save at 8 Alpha for 01, when ready, flight level 130 and 260 knots, descend, so also Charlie. So Jeff, you've literally come in on the last day if you've just found a stream. Uh, so you probably missed 160 hours.
Oh, Colin, Colin is actually, um, we actually haven't really tripped over as I uh, go off set here, actually. He's on the floor, just outside the kitchen, uh, on the carpet there. We think there's a, uh, basically a water pipe underneath or something more, because he's in the, he's in the same place every single day. Because uh, PSX, uh, the way it works, we we can run it from literally any machine, install it, link it up, and you, what you see on here, you can actually see anywhere else. If you actually had a copy of PSX, then you can actually link up to our aircraft for a read-only. You won't be able to fly it, but you'll be able to watch exactly what's going on. Uh, Hardy is in the room actually, uh, he's the one that designed it, uh, built it, programmed it, and he does regularly, he links into the system to watch it, and then asks us questions, gives us stuff, and then tells us why we're doing that. <laughs> uh, Drifter Boy, we don't explain about costs, it makes Gary cry. Uh, Nathan, this is why, this is probably the best time in the world, or the whole year, to go flying. Because this year, I don't think we've been to Unicorn whatsoever. It's been ATC for the whole flight, I think, for the whole world flight, which is pretty impressive, really, that people have actually put themselves out to do ATC at the same time as us flying. It does get a bit hectic as it goes towards Sydney, though. Uh, Dodge Viper, we, we don't discuss anything that's... Uh, Topical at the moment. Right. Uh, yeah, well, sure. The the flight sim itself, yeah, the software itself, is called PSX, and we link it to P3D. P3D is the visuals of what we actually link it outside. So we're using version three of that, and currently at the moment our uh, frame rates on um, there is 
roughly about 70 FPS, so it's pretty high. That's because PSX doesn't take anything. It's really, really good. Plus, it's on a different computer. I would, when we say we run six computers to run this, it's, it's not <laughs> really because one of them is a Twitch machine, one of them is a dispatch machine. One of them is the instructor, which is... Yeah, the actual sim is three computers. Yeah. And the actual sim itself is three computers. One is for visuals, so it actually is two. It's really, the really... The reason that is because there's so many screws. Yep. Yeah, that's the only reason we run it off that so that many machines in purely, because we're, we have to drive the actual visuals on different... Maintain two six zero knots and direct to MIT Spirit 47 Charlie. Night boss in the room, so there's certain words that you say uh, instantly. You don't get banned from the room, all you do is get banned, uh, basically, your text disappears. We have a very, very nice chat community on this. Uh, Brisbane, Spivot 47 Charlie. Spivot 47 Charlie, Brisbane. Yeah, we have a operational requirement to divert to Gold Coast. Uh, we're standing by for an initial heading, but we have got uh, FMC Speed Force on Charlie. Charlie, Left heading one nine zero. Left heading one nine zero. Charlie. Our speed, thanks, Spivot 47 Charlie. Uh, Nathan, uh, our frame rates massively changed. Uh, like I said, at the moment we're doing uh, three, projector, or three projectors onto a screen and we get on average 70, between 70 and 75 frames a second. Uh, back. Uh, we have an operational requirement to uh, divert to another airfield. go to the same airfield at the same time. A Vamo I did. The chat in this room is very, very good. It actually help us out a lot because uh, sitting here trying to speak and do social secretary for so long and you guys, um, um, you start learning commands, you give all the information, you help people out. It does and that's the way it should do I believe. Are we on autopilot? Oh, we're on sort of water pilot. <laughs> we, we are, we, well, we're now on heading, we're just putting ourselves on the head the way. We were on uh, autopilot taking us into uh, Sydney, but we're diverging away somewhere else. Well, that's what chat should be doing. divert we because we are a world flight team so there is 10 of us flying around so we do it for our in big sim so it's not just us that have this cockpit like this there's 10 of us around the world so what we do for the last leg we we tend to divert to an alternate airfield we join up and then we do our last leg into sydney uh, it's pretty cool actually Uh, we can take visual if uh, that works out, but we have got the FLS moving forward, so Charlie. Charlie, and uh, so there's just a warning, there's forecast just about one to go up so hopefully uh, you might be able to overly reach it. Okay, uh, right heading 2-2-0 and uh, that's probably the word I think, so Charlie. Uh, 
I just what the autopilot is it, but what, but what we're doing now is uh, basically we're descending down, we're on headings, so yes the autopilot is flying it, so not physically manually flying it. Thunderstorms, oh, I don't see any thunderstorms. We are just approaching the Australian coast at present. Gary's in it. Yeah. There might be a couple of extra knots. There's a lot of wind. Uh, Matt will be doing some flying very shortly. To get yourself oh. comfortable. Yeah. To lock this chair in. My fat arm doesn't this fit is not down the game. side of it. This is not a game. We're we'll agreeing this is not a game, this is a simulation. I will. Uh, Basically, move seats as we get a bit closer, just to help help him out. Captain Jack, away from there, Dave. Hey? You just reach forward. Well, <laughs> oh, I can't lock this seat. My arm's too fat. Uh, usually, what we do is uh, basically we, we sort of change roles. That when we do a descent, then the pilot not flying on the right hand side will do all the descent and uh, basically everything into stable. Uh, so on the approach. Uh, Pilot fly with all the radios. That'd be the clip here. Oh, it's on the but because there's only two of us at the moment, uh, and the chat's over here, I don't want to leave the chat. I want to keep you keep you going. What's going on? So you've got the outside view. They want to stay. I'm staying. In. If it all goes wrong, Matt's on his own. <laughs> I don't take responsibility. You can mock me. No, not Benny can do it. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he had to say there was two of you. There was one of them, so. <laughs> Don't really try it. Charlie, this only one three zero for runway one four. Ten four thousand and uh, one zero. Sorry, correct. Nine thousand one zero zero nine. Speed four seven, Charlie. Uh, 
Uh, oh, it is. It's, uh, the reason why it's Australia is because it originally started with the Australians. They they started off this world flight sort of stuff. So it is not yeah an Australian thing. So that's why we always start off in Brisbane. Should I say Sydney, not Brisbane? It's just grown each year, really. Then more and more teams have taken over. Come more and more people are flying along as well. Yeah, more and more people flying along. When I say, if you look on that's by at the moment, there's there's just a stream of people sort of flying in. The one when, when you usually depart from uh, Sydney on world flight, the very right at the beginning, it can take you two hours to get off the people. ground. It is that many people. It just takes hours to get off there. Then five thousand spread four seven Charlie. Uh, well, we'll we'll we will we'll be streaming tomorrow, but. Uh, Radio heading 230, speed 47, Charlie. Sorry, you said 210? 230, 23. 47, Charlie, ready 2-4-0, Charlie. Still 4-7, Charlie, that'll put you Okay, no worries, we were going for a Hong Kong style approach, but uh, we are visual speed for so Charlie. I love a short one. Left heading 200, we'll go to speed 47 Charlie. The Karumba Bay. Uh, can we slow down a bit more? Yeah. Uh, Rami, that's. Let's do. Uh, I'm talking about we, yeah, official world flight teams tend to. Uh, there's always an airfield where we divert initially to uh, basically group up before we do our line, our final leg. Everybody else, well, everybody else who's flying around, go to wherever they're going. Uh, the world flight team himself, go, they all meet up together, then they depart. And it is depart literally one after the other, after the other, after the other, and we do the last bit. Uh, Captain Strax, the people you're hearing is uh, basically ATC. Uh, they're actually telling us what to do. Here's someone on the other end of a computer, and they are literally watching us and telling us where to go. Uh, and Drifter Boy Gaming, now we won't be won't be streaming tomorrow. Today will be the last time for a while, I'm afraid. Yep, last leg. Uh, so 10:30 is the last bit. So that's our last leg. Uh, so. After we land here, a little bit of a break, we'll have some breakfast, uh, we'll set ourselves up and then we'll basically get back in the air and do the last bit. Uh, Matt's about to try a Kitak approach. <laughs> I could do flaps over three months. Yeah mate, yeah, whatever you want to do. Look after everybody on the stream. Yeah, they, they, it's like the last, this is where you definitely need third person. <laughs> Keep an eye on our web page or stuff, we'll actually uh, do that. Tell you when we're actually Coming flying. Ready. It's coffee, it's good. 4 7 Charlie. Looking good. Ten two thousand, and uh, we're so close. We're switching the guns. We were four seven Charlie.
Good visual approach, runway 14, and we are visual speed with 47 Charlie. Uh, Daffy's, we would just divert into an alternate airfield just before we carry our final leg. You can reach it, Dave. Put the gear down, please. Get it down, Roger. This really is backseat flying, this one. <laughs> Laps 10, please, Dave. Laps 10. Uh, we, don't have a, we don't have a stream schedule where we put everything on our website or on Facebook or Twitter. So one of those, if you've got there, uh, whenever we do a stream, and just keep an eye on. As long as you follow us on this Twitch. Tower 187, and uh, yeah, I would make a tight comment, but it's too early. Radio altimeter. Tower, okay, go to tower. Yep. You want to do the radio now, Dave? Yeah. Hello, good morning. Speed of 47 Charlie with you. Visual approach. Runway. What oh, runway? 14. Runway 14. Speed of 47 Charlie, cooling down. Continue approach. Continue approach. Speed of 47 Charlie. Last 20, please, Dave. Last 20, yeah. Uh, yeah. Data on visual. Speed of 47 Charlie. Yeah, I got the runway lights. Yep. Looking good. Flaps 25, please, Dave. Flaps 25. And the landing checklist. And landing checklist. Speed brake. Here's arms. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. 25. Cabin port. Is ready. Oh, thank you very much donation. Donation hype. Uh, we're going to Gold Coast because we divert, as that's what we do at the end. Uh, we go to, we basically divert to an alternate airfield as we'll fly to basically meet up the rest of them. All to the left. Yes, we're real people. Welcome to our stream. You have uh, approximately four hours left of watching us. Uh, also, like, uh, basically, uh, there's only two of us at the moment. Uh, Benny is upstairs, actually. He's uh, relaxing. He departed. We are just a, the, the team here. Will we clear to land, Dave? I uh, don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Don't be awesome. That's looking good. I don't know, it might go horribly wrong at the last minute. Hitland runway 14, speed with 47 Charlie. Thank you. Good me. Why thank you. Why thank you, good sir. <laughs> Set date plus 51 weeks. <laughs> yeah, only 360. 358 days left to go. 50 above. Side. Um, arriving, I think, is probably going to be the term. Arriving. I don't know about a landing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Mandarin. That's good.
That's why it's short runway there. I do auto brake free, just in case. Yeah, well, good, good shout. <laughs> I'd hate for it to all go wrong at the last minute. 100. I'll do it reverses as well. Okay. 50. 30. 20. 10. Hold on to your teeth. There we go. Um, max reverse, please, Dave. Yep, max reverse is on. Oh, oh sh goes. manual braking. Manual braking. Uh, idle reverse. Idle reverse. 80 knots. Forward idle. And forward idle. Okay. Uh, we're stopping. Oh, oh, my head's just We did. We did. Managed to get Head's that. just headbutted the window. 47 Charlie, we arrived and vacated to the left. Superb, 47 Charlie, well done. Back out to the left. Back to your bay. Uh, just for info, about another 30 minutes until the uh, next lot of simulators arrive. Watch that, 30 minutes. That means we can get our bacon sandwiches on and some coffee. Speak to you shortly. Sure, yeah. Well done, Matt. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was difficult. That was good. I'll do the uh, flaps in the AP on all that, Dave, yeah. please. Might as well get you doing something other than talking to everybody. <laughs> Where should we park, Dave? Anywhere you want, because we are the only people. I fancy going down by the beach. Well, if we go number two, we'll let the Australians go number one. Qantas 252 is their, is their nah, uh, I'm not parking party. on a stand. I'm just going to park. I'm just going to arrive. Okay. <laughs> What do you think, everyone? Should we go down in the beach? Half an hour to the next one. You want to shut down two or three? E yes, please. Makes the noise different when those two go off, actually. Oh, yeah. We'll get in a position where we can see everyone coming in. <laughs> Let us know, Dave, when uh, the vi the front view. Put stick the front view on. We'll, I'll try and position it so that we can see everyone landing. Right, spin it around to the left. Yeah, keep going, keep going. That's why we, whenever you can see out there, actually. Yeah. Okay. Probably at the camera angle, basically. I reckon something like that. Yeah. Yep, you'll be able to see a touchdown, so. Parking brake is set. Big surfing spot, yes it is. Okay. We have uh, I don't think there's any overhead lights way. The tablet has gone. Yeah. Sort that in a minute. Yeah, that's good. Come on. Very loser. Oh, yeah. the AP's not running. That's a nerd. It starts. Oh, it's done. There we go. I did start it. Oh, I'll just wait for that one. I'll do all the other bits, but... Yeah, uh, flaps. Oh, sorry, uh, stab trip six. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, near enough. Yep. Those are off. Uh, okay, speed brake. Down. Exterior lights. Oh, set. Weather radars. Off. Flaps. Up. Transponder. So put it to... Uh, standby, yeah. And 2000. Stab trip of six. Yep. Okay. After Just waiting for the engines. Yeah. Alright. APUs, they're good, yeah? Let's see if we can get some power. Off, off, box. Shut down, shut down. Yeah, you should have some external power as well. Open the doors.
Nicely done. It's a final count. Uh, yep, a little long to go. 281. That wasn't bad. And fuel. How much worse? 21.4. Well, ladies and gents, uh, we'll s we'll leave this view on uh, purely so you can see uh, the arri rest of the arriving flights. About another half an hour. I said the the idea of this is so all the world flight teams can actually catch up, catch up, <laughs> and get in a position so we can do our final leg. So final leg will be Benny, Gary, and probably me and Max. I think everybody else will be in bed. Dave, let's go and get those bacon sandwiches on. We will get those bacon sandwiches on and some coffee. Uh, Benny is upstairs, so hopefully he's speaking to the chat or be able to do the chat. I know he's monitoring, and we'll speak to you shortly. Bye. And I've also got my computer on as well in the, in the kitchen, so when I'm making bacon sandwiches, then I can speak to you as well. Uh, Rob from KBTL says, flew that visually like it was a damn Cessna, very nice. Speak to you shortly. <laughs>